Hey there, Scott Wilkinson at Cedia Expo 2013. I'm in the JVC booth talking with Jeff Marks about the new projectors this year. Hey, Jeff. Hi, Scott. How are you? Doing Welcome. great. Thanks. Thank you so much. So uh, what's new at Cedia for JVC? Well, what we're showing is our new line of projectors for 2014, which will be available approximately sometime in December. Uh, we're offering two, th uh, excuse me, three new models this year, uh, starting at the $5,000 price point, going to $8,000 and $12,000. Within that, though, JVC is carrying on a tradition of high native contrast. In, the, in other words, the ability to have white and black shared at the same time, so people can actually have a, a true cinematic experience. Right, but the high contrast, the high dynamic range, the JVC is well known for. Right. That uh, now. Speaking of that ability to have black and white within the same frame, JVC has also added a new lens feature this year called Intelligent Lens Memory. What that does is actually give us deeper blacks. Now, deeper blacks meaning that you know you, there's native contrast and then there's dynamic contrast. They're two different measurement systems. Yep. Uh, the bottom line is forget about the, the, the differences. One's going to give you blacker blacks. The other one's going to give you more whites and blacks at the same time. JVC has achieved 1.5 million to one dynamic contrast, the leader in the industry in that re regard. We've always led native contrast. So depending on what the customer really wants at the end, black or blacks or more cinema-like film experience, we have a feature or button, if you will, to accommodate that. Now, this is the first time JVC has implemented a, a dynamic iris, is it not? Uh, well, we're calling it an intelligent lens aperture. Okay. All right. All and, right. and that what it, that's doing again is is bringing that black level down to as black as black it can be. And again, ensuring that if somebody wants to compare well between brand X, brand Y, and brand JVC, <laughs> uh, which is important. Yes. Uh, we're going to give them the fact that 1.5 million to one, 1.2 million to one, or 600,000 to one, depending upon the the projector that the model that you choose. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, now. That black and white, well, there's other things involved. It's called resolution that for picture quality and color. Uh, JVC has added 4K uh, inputs on our projectors this year. Meaning this is that very important. It is. So uh, as more and more content becomes available in 4K, 3840 by 2160 versus full HD, right. 1920 by 1080. Yep. Um, so four times the number of pixels on the screen. Yep. Um, we have to have a way to input that into our projectors. Now, JVC allows you this year with these new models, the DLAX 500, the DLAX 9, uh, 700, and the DLAX 900. Those three models will allow people to take a 4K server, input a 4K 24p, 4K 30p, or 4K 60p source into the projector via one HDMI cable, and then it will output on the screen 3840 by 2160. Using JVC's uh, eShift technology. Right. The actual panel has 1920 by 1080 pixels. That's correct. But you're shifting them uh, in a unique and interesting way yes. in order to get 38. Uh, 40 by 2160 that, on the screen. So we have the effective resol edge resolution of 3840 by 2160 panel. You are absolutely correct. We're still using 1920 by 1080 chips. And the reason we do that, Scott, is to make sure that people have the ability not only to get the best 2D picture, all right, yeah. the thing they're going to watch 90% of the time is um, HD. Is HD. A and these projectors are built for HD. They're also built for 3D, which is a much smaller amount of time they're going to be watching those. And for the foreseeable future, while there's always early adopters, uh, we want to make sure that they have the ability to watch that high picture quality, that 4K resolution, if they so choose, but without having to spend tens of thousands of dollars more for that advantage. Right. So, on the screen, though, it still is 3840 by 2160, but back to your point, on the native uh, pixel size is 1920 by 1080. Now, you say you can accept uh, UHD, Ultra HD, at 60 frames per second. Does that mean you have HDMI 2.0? No, and I want to make sure that we're clear. Ultra HD is a higher, it's 4 by 2. This is 3840 by 2160. Correct. Um, so the thing is, we are not at this time talking about HDMI 2.0. Okay. Um, because you can, I, I have become to understand that you can transport 3840 by 2160 at 60 frames over HDMI 1.4. That is absolutely correct, and that's what currently we're doing. Uh, we don't know what's going to be the reality when these actually ship in December, uh, but as of right now, we are not saying we're HDMI 2.0 compliant. Understood. However, we are 1.4 with the ability right now, today, at the show, uh, to produce 4K 60p input. 
Fantastic. And you said three models, right? Uh, at the 5,000, 8,000, 8,000, and 12,000 12, price points. Right. And the difference between those models is mostly in the contrast ratio? Contrast ratio, um, the, the DLAX 700 at 8,000 and the DLAX 900 at 12,000 are both THX certified ah. as well as ISF certified. So for those people out there that, that the discerning customer, as I'm sure they will be at those price points, uh, can have it professionally calibrated with corresponding software with a, from a calibrator to get the absolute maximum picture potential out of that projector uh, and have a dynamic cinema experience in their home. Fantastic. Thank you so much for talking with Thanks us. Thanks so much for having us.